Are you ready? This is the metric around a rotating black hole. Angular momentum really messes everything up. It's nasty. Thankfully, we, we don't need to do any crazy math. The care metric, so it is known black hole metric for its. But being immortal, we will try to simplify the derivation. So care metric is for black hole and shows that rotation causes special kind of inertial frame dragging. First we prefer a massless body, so we understand the situation with this diagram. Now using Pythagorean theorem, we get this equation. So we have to calculate rotational speeds dependent on coordinate. So we know that angular momentum is defined by this equation. Now changing the radius with our radial coordinate, we define a new radius, A, so we can modify our frame dragging equation like this. And if observe intensely, angle component is like this. Now we can check that if we substitute angular moment to be zero, it turns to original radius or not. And indeed it does. So we can write the coefficients like these. And the radial metric is this, due to tangent law. So finally our metric looks like this. Note that it is the massless case. It's also known as a late spheroidal coordinates. Now what happens when mass curves the space-time? So, we first prefer the first dimension. Radial dimension. So when moment turns zero, it reduces to Schwarzschild. When mass turns zero, it reduces to spheroidal coordinates. So we define a function which is dependent on mass and radius like this, and then solve. On first condition we found that this function is nothing more than this. Now we know that particles near rotating mass don't feel torque or force, it just appears to rotate with frame dragging. So that has nothing to do with time dilation except that, just the frame of space and time both drags. So instead of writing Schwarzschild gravitational time dilation, we add the effect of dragging denoted by capital T, and since rotation is in azimuthal direction, so we write our capital, T, like this. Here function is dependent on angle and moment. So immortal here is where concept and tensor analysis meets. This is the only way. You start by putting your condition and leave some variables. And you do the hard and bulky tensor calculation by using this Einstein field equation. In this condition, the function must be dependent on moment and angle, or else, we can know that there is mistake in concept. So, if you have enough god-level immortal memory power and mathematical strength then you can do the calculation in your head in one blank second exclamation. So the answer is, adding Reisner Nordstrom transformation, we finally get the Kerr Newman metric. If this video gets enough news, then I will make a video showing tensor calculation. Till then stay mortal.